I'm Michaela. I'm Adaya. And, and we, we are raised as loving Christ. Today, what we're going to talk about is bullying. It has affected a lot of children in the world. Um, considering uh, bullying, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> depression, um, dropping out of school, and committing suicide. Yeah. Um, this this really happens at middle school and elementary uh, and high school. Yeah, pretty high much school. all, pretty much all the, all the grades. grades so yeah, um, but it needs to stop. Like. People do this because they think it's cool, but it's really not. It hurts the other people's feelings. But I think the the person that's bullying them, they just want us to feel the same pain as them. And we just, what we need to do is when they get home, just, and when we get home, we just need to pray for them. And when they're feeling or down. pray with them. Yes. And if they're embarrassed, just go to a little room or something just to help them or just say, what do you need? What's on your mind? You know what I mean? Only, um, act like, you don't always have to pray all the time, but, like, you could also listen to worship music to, like, get it out. Like, let, let all your feelings out. Like, whatever is making you be mad or angry or... Or, you know what you could do? Just go outside and just scream. Or, or get in the car and scream. Or go in your room and close the door and scream. Whatever you have to do, just get your tears out because it's just it's affecting the world right now. And it today, even for boys, like your father or mother, your father mostly like tells you to keep it in. Like you're a man, you can let it out because nobody's forcing you to keep it in. Because God, He doesn't He doesn't want you to keep it in. He wants you to let it all out. Like let it out. Yes. Like I remember when. I, I wanted to keep it in, and then I just let it all out, and I felt really bad. Like It felt like my my body had been cleaned out, really. Mm-hmm. And um, that, how, how does, give me an opinion how you feel about bullying. I think bullying is sad because I used to get bullied in elementary, And I had school, to come up in there. And, you know, <laughs> I mean, because, you know, fifth grade, nobody really, like, we're just kids, so we really didn't know what to do, like, I wasn't a fighting person. I was kind of like a shy, a shy person. I, I cried all the time. I, I wasn't. I like to stand up for my battles. Well, That's one thing. Well, because you know, all the all the younger child, they know what to do. But like the middle child, they're kind of like, you know, they just don't know what to do. But when I was young, I used to get bullied. People used to call me stupid. I had to come I up used to, down. like, down. in middle school... Um, I used, uh, I was called a man because I played football, uh, a bodybuilder. Yes. Which is, and I just, I just did that. So I made sure that people didn't mess with me. Uh, I made sure that they knew that who I was, we don't, y'all are not going to mess with me. Yeah. But they said I had like manly fingers and I was like, ask yourself that. You, is that true? Yeah. You were made a girl. Exactly. Not some bodybuilder. Be like, be yourself. Don't if be you want to be a bodybuilder, be a bodybuilder. Like, you can be anything. Yeah, like, if you want to be a bodybuilder, just punch them through the walls. If you want to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. But, um, bullying, um, you can reverse it, actually. Like, let's, let's do a role play, that. Okay, I'm going to be, I'm going to be the, uh, the shy, bully. the shy, okay, the bully. And she be the shy girl. Ugh, what what you got on? That, that that's very ugly. What you got? On? So pretty, girl. I like it. Where'd you get it? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I sh- yeah. Girl, it's so pretty. You, I should get one too. So that right there is. I was the bully, so I'm like confused. Like, why is she not being mean to me? She's like, I don't care. I'm I'm gonna tell her that she's pretty. Like, cause in the Bible it says to love your enemies, even though like you don't like that enemy. Or like they say something to mean God still wants you to love them because in God like in Christ Jesus we're all brothers and sisters. Yeah. Even if they're still in your family, y'all all brothers and sisters. Like another thing too is um ignore it. Ignore it. Like, yeah. Like if somebody walks by and says, You stupid and you really smarter than that person, you making <laughs> A's and B's in your class and he making F's and D's, like we no. Just like walk off and be like, man, forget I, forget about that, cause I ain't got time for that mess. Like, yeah. and then another thing is, if if you like, uh, for the elementary kids, like tell tell an adult, 
Tell an adult, like, don't don't just, like, keep it in and, like, man, I'm just going to go home and kill myself. No. Tell the teacher or go to the principal office or the counselor or tell your parents. And people think it just happens in middle school and high school. It could happen in, in the elementary, world. too. Like, anybody could do it right now, but we don't want that to happen because God said, you know, you know, he told me to live my life, you know, and we're not going to. We're not going to die right now because, I mean, why would he give us just, why would he give us a life, you know, mm -hmm. if we're not going to live it? And don't, don't end your life because somebody told you something that wasn't, that wasn't true. Right. Like, don't, you're beautiful inside. So let's say like, I, somebody calls me ugly. I go home and say, mom, am I ugly? Like, don't, don't even ask, don't even ask your parents that. Just be like, I'm not ugly. I, I'm a, I'm a beautiful, wealthy and healthy child. And another thing is to like, don't, don't get mad and don't get mad at somebody else because, because they done did something to your life. Like, I remember there's like these girls, like, since we're in Georgia, people are like looking at us like, they're light they? skinned. Like, they're light skinned. We don't, we don't do that. We don't do that. In right. And these girls, like, they look at our hair and they're like, man, that's, that's fake. fake. You sure it is? Pull, pull my head. My roots. Pull my head left and my right. Roots. They are. They still right. in there. But if I put yours off, you, you maybe have a bald head. And but <laughs> <laughs> the Lord said to be nice. But um, <laughs> I'm but just saying they 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 look at us at a at a different like like way. just give you a look like who are they? Who are they? Like, like they're not from here. here. We're, not, We're not. But. <laughs> We want to be part of Georgia. I mean, cause we just, we want to be different in a way, but like we want to meet friends. We want to be different. Like you don't want to be the same cause people are like, oh. And you good. see, you see good. all these girl, other girls doing, doing this, be different, be different from them. Like me, like I'm not even trying to brag or nothing, but I'm like different from the girls cause at school I dress like a boy. And do you see all those boys? They like, oh my gosh, you're so cute. I'm like, no, not at this age. I can't date. But I'm still <laughs> beautiful because I'm different from them. Yeah. And all these, like all these, like if you see posts online saying only short girls are the prettiest, it's not true. All the girls are beautiful. Like you can use your natural hair. Don't don't go to some store again and thirty seven dollars a <laughs> weave because somebody told you your hair was too short. No. Live, live your natural life. Yes. Live your natural hair. Like, you see this? I don't even want this in my hair no more. Like, <laughs> it's not even weave, but it's like getting on my nerves. So, I want to use my natural hair. And, um, <laughs> what? I don't even know what I said, but, um, but that's, that's kind of what do, that's what you do for bullying. Like, these girls, like, at my school, um, like when we were first day of school, people were like, "Are you light skin? Are you mixed?" And I was like, "No, I mean, it doesn't I'm, matter what I'm just I am." Light skin, you know what I mean? They were looking at my hair like, "Girl, you are mixed." And I was like, uh, "Okay, that's what I like, people it doesn't matter." But I'm like, they're like, "I wish I had your hair." I was like, "Girl, just be yourself. Like, let your hair out. Like, even if it is short, like right here or right here, you better like you better curl shake it up it like or anything. It's, it's, it's right. something on your head. You like, shake it. I remember these girls. Like, there's like side girls. Like, some of the girls were my friends, and the other girls weren't my friends. And my girls like, they're like, girl, did she really talk about your hair? Girl, you are beautiful. Yes. Like, who cares what they say? Cause they're not nothing. And they're the, nothing. And the type of people you need to hang out with, or uh, put yourself around, is like, let's say. Let's say a Daya, like, let's say a Daya was, like, one of those disrespectful girls that um, talk back to the teachers, be mean to disabled kids. And I'm, like, looking at her, like, I'm not going to put myself in that and be in a follower. I'm, I'm going to be a leader, and I'm going to separate myself from you. So then I go to another group, and not even a group, just, like, one friend. Right. They they never get sat by. And who cares if they're a nerd? Like, be yeah. friends with everybody because one day they can come home and be like, you know, I'm about to shoot up this school. They go to school and they shoot up that person for bullying them. Like, don't do that. Be friends with everybody. Who cares if you're those kind of popular girls that have the weave in? 
Just like, look at them. Don't look at him like, oh, like he's got pimple on his face. Just like, hey, what up, bro? Like, I, just, I saw you sitting alone. I thought you needed somebody. Like, you know what I mean? I remember, I remember, um, I had, I had the, well, I didn't know this girl, but I saw that she kept getting bullied. And I was like, and there was this one time I said, don't talk about her because you don't know what she's been through. Like, um, I'm not going to say her name, but I had, I like helped her. I helped her. I gave her my clothes. I gave her my mm -hmm. shoes, my socks, anything that helped her. And like the next day she, she didn't come back because of bullying. And I was like, I pray for her. I pray for her and her family, but they, they still didn't come back, but still I pray that they're, um, they're doing healthy and they have good money in their hands right now. Yes. Um, we just help everybody and y'all just be nice to everybody that you go meet or the people that you just first see. Like, you know what I mean? At school. Just be like, what up, bro? You know? My friend. Um, but that's what we wanted to tell you guys about. Stop bullying because it's not it's worth not it. It's not good. It's not even yeah, Like, necessary. stop it. So. And, um... Y'all just keep going on with y'all's day. Y'all have a have great a night, day. great evening, whatever y'all want to do. And we will see y'all tomorrow. So, <laughs> peace, peace out and bless America.